Hi everyone, it's Jay Janjar here and today I'm going to be looking at the Legendary Edition for Dishonored 2 which has just come out today on the 10th of November 2016. And here it is. It's come in a massive box. I got this one from Game Online and it's for the PS4 because that's my console of choice. Yoop. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it comes with a huge mask, a replica of Corvo's mask, which you might remember from the first game. It's a wanted poster of Corvo on the side. On the back, just a little few details about what's coming in the box. And we have Emily on the side, who's now a playable character. So this bit, it just slides off. It's just a sleeve. We have similar design on the front. A kind of cool little line art here. I'm sorry about the lighting. Again, we have the portraits and on the back, I'm not sure you can see it, but that is the outsider symbol, which you might remember from the first game, appeared on Corvo's hand. I'm guessing it's going to appear on Emily's hand this time. Not entirely sure. I cannot wait to play this. As you might remember from the first game, there's multiple endings. So I'm going to be really interested to see which one's the kind of canon ending this time. So first of all, on top, we have a poster. It's a double-sided poster. On the first side, long live the Empress in memory of Jasmine Codwin. So she was the one that died in the first game, you might remember. Don't worry, I will be doing more close-ups of all these. All hail the Empress, Empress Her Majesty Delilah Codwin. So I'm guessing this must be this one's sister. Hmm, interesting, because I remember from the advert, adverts that the new one's called Delilah. And on top, we have my absolute favorite things, steel cases. And here it is. On the front we have Emily in her new design. She's all grown up. And on the back we have Corvo in his mask. And if I pop open, it's really nice. It's kind of matte. And inside I have the, oh, I have the Imperial Assassin's Pack, which comes with Duelist Luck. Bullet packs have an increased chance of holding one more bullet. Void Favor, supernatural powers have an increased chance of consuming no mana and a lore book which says goodbye Karnaka, I think that's the new world we're in, I'm not entirely sure. Um, Musicians Farewell. Pack also features unique guitar and 500 coins to use in a legal black market. And on the back it has the code. That's it right there. And we have the Dishonored Definitive Edition, it's a digital code so that gives you the first game if you've never played it before. And we have the manual which features Emily and Corvo. And if I have a look at the back, if I take out the game for just a second, you'll see some nice art of Emily and Corvo there. Nice! So I'll pop that back in, keep all my coats handy. And let's look at the next thing we have in here. We have instructions for the mask. So Hook in the platform, mask on, and then, yeah, seems easy enough. But then knowing me, I always muck this up. So I'm just going to pull this out, nice and gentle. And there's nothing else inside, it's just red. So let's have a look. Okay, and this is everything taken out. This is Corvo's mask. Again, I will be doing close-ups. And this inside, the red bit is kind of rubbery material. It's very flexible. The outside is just completely plastic and yeah you can put that onto your face unfortunately my face is much much too small for this but i will try my best mm, spooky so yes so all we need to do is take the hook which is just made of plastic we have this as well made of plastic and easy enough you slot this in here sideways like this make sure that's hooked on and on Corvo's mask, there's a little bit on here, a little hook, and that sits up here. It's a little square that you need to pop in, and there you go. And that is Corvo's mask. It's really pretty. And what I didn't notice is when I took that plastic stuff out, there was another little thing. There was this. It was hidden behind Corvo's mask, because I knew there was something missing. And inside, it is a ring. Really pretty. I'm not sure what significance this will have in a game, but I'm sure it will. So that's it quite there. I'm sorry, but the camera doesn't focus very well. 
There we go. So it's just a little cross with a swirl in it. I think the crosses are meant to be keys or arrows. Yeah, I'm sure that will have some significance, but it comes in a really nice case with the little fabrics in there. And just pop it in there, actually. Yeah, it's far too big for my fingers. I've got little hands. And that is that. So I hope you enjoy this quite quick and sweet unboxing video. Um, if you hang on for a few more seconds, you'll see close-ups of everything here. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a positive or ne negative comment in the comments below. Blah. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching.